beautiful people it's beautiful Tuesday it's me again Miss Kel I bring to you something very different today as usual you know so today we're going to talk about how to move to your dream country are you ready guys so if you're new in this channel please subscribe to my channel I know you enjoy all the videos I've been posting here please subscribe give me a thumbs up whenever you see my video comment down below what you think you can give me suggestions on what to do now your first time on my channel thank you for all your support and welcome back so today we're going to do something different and i hope you're ready for me as usual especially for those who don't have the money and feel it's impossible to live in their dream country but yes it's possible if you don't have the money to travel don't worry we got you back before you have to choose between what you really want to do what do you want to go there to do do you want to study or do you want to work what do you, what exactly do you want so let's say if you want to study which is my number one if I, if I will advise anyone studying is the easiest way to move yes so if you want to study if you want to study abroad what do you do what do you do? Do you just move? Do you just pack your luggage and just go? No, you have to follow some steps. Research about this country, everything about the country, the visa policies, the living expenses, and things you need to know about this country. Then when you research about this, you proceed to researching about all the scholarship opportunities open for you. So guys, apply for this scholarship. Do it right now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Just do it. Do it. Do it. What country do you like? Do you want to go to? Choose the country already. Choose it. Make sure you have a good educational background. Yes, I said educational background because good educational background is like a stepping stone to success. We all know this. Yes. So when you have a educa good educational background, you can apply for tons of tons of scholarships, tons of jobs. Okay, let's say if you want a school and you don't have the money. What do you do? There are scholarships, fellowships, scholarships, and lots of it, tons of it. You can apply for any of this. Apply for scholarship, go to the internet, check on in the, in the countries of your choice what scholarships are open. Then, if you have the educational background, good educational background, like I said, you will most likely get the scholarship. Yes. Yes, I've seen a lot of people who got scholarships because they have good results. There are tons of people who got scholarships, not just by luck, no, not by luck. It could be luck, yes, yes, it could be luck, but mostly because they have good educational background, because they have good results, because they have good certificate, because they have excellent results. Yes, so if you have good educational background, then scholarship is yours. I will advise you target the full scholarship because obviously there is no money, so you have to target the full scholarship so you could be getting your you get your school fees paid, your accommodation covered, and your living expenses covered. Apply for this scholarship, then you can proceed to praying. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just kidding. So you can proceed to like you wait for it yes you wait for the scholarship if you get the scholarship then you're lucky and when you get the scholarship what do you do the school sends you all the documents you need to move and you can apply for visa at the embassy and move to your dream country then when you get there while you're studying you can have more opportunities to work or do whatever you want guys it's so easy yes it's so easy do it already. Apply for that scholarship. Research about that country. Do it now. So all you need to have is your money, transportation money, or do some school, some scholarship. Cover all this, the transportations and everything. So you have to check out the requirements of this scholarship and whatever they offer. If they offer you transportation or whatever. So you have to consider all these things. You have to put all these things in place when you're applying for a scholarship. So, broke and you don't want to school, there's another opportunity for you. You can work. So, you all you have to do is to be skilled. You should be skilled, not just being skilled, but you should also have experience. Lots of experience, like five years experience. I'm just kidding. So, you should have experience. Yeah, you should have experience because experience can help you. And talking about getting a job, there are a lot of websites where you can 
where you can get information or apply for jobs. There are sites like LinkedIn, Monster, Indeed, and various other job sites would help. You could check out this internet, you could check out this website and get to know the kind of jobs that are available in the country of your choice. Unfortunately, some countries or some jobs require you to be there. And you have to know the kind of job you're going into because if you get a job where you're in your country and you don't even know what the job is all about. I know you will say, I've already researched about the country or the job, so it's okay. But some jobs, you might not know all about it until you get there. So all I have to tell you is that you could first, first, go as a tourist, check out this company, if it's worth it, do whatever you need to do check it out then you can proceed to apply your for your work visa so that you don't go there and you get stuck no don't do that don't do that a bad idea to accept any job just because you're looking for a job no don't do that never you have to get a job then you research about the company to make sure this company offer all you want the contract should be exactly the way you want it don't rush into a job just because you want to travel or because you want to relocate you have to research very well about this job and get to know and make sure all this the job has all you want maybe accommodation because you know you don't have the money and some other things so you have to research more about this job don't just take any job that is being offered to you so if you use this um this job site you'll be able to you'll be amazed how easy it is to get a job outside their country. You go there as a tourist, apply for jobs there, go for interviews in person instead of maybe Skype or whatever online interview. So it's better you go in, per in person you and go uh, for interviews and you know if, if, if luckily you get the job then you can travel back to your home and process your work visa which is the best way. But if you don't have all it takes to go and come back it's still okay you can apply online do your interview online then if you get the job the off the company will send you documents in your to your country and you apply for a visa and get your transportation most companies will offer you transportations and uh, uh transport like coming transportation for coming there and maybe accommodation and everything so you don't need to worry about all that a whole number number of opportunities are open for skilled professionals are you a skilled professional if you are then yes you can do it you can get this job you're looking for but if you're not don't not to worry some countries like uh like uh european union countries are open to offer jobs to people who are unskilled and various other countries so there are some jobs you could also get if you're not skilled right? to get these opportunities so first you have to be make sure your police report your police record is clean very clean because if you do you'll be denied all the all these opportunities this working the scholarship the schooling or whatever thank you for taking your time to come to the end of this video Thank you for watching my video, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and see you next Tuesday.